Hi, my name is Ben Sherman. I'm the Director of Public Works here in Uxbridge. As many of you know, the United States Environmental Protection Agency issued the town a new wastewater discharge permit a few years ago. This permit regulates the quality of the water discharged from the wastewater treatment plant back into the Blackstone River. Over the past few years, we have been working through the planning process to evaluate our current and future needs with the wastewater treatment facility. Throughout this process, we have presented our findings to the Board of Selectmen and the town through a variety of meetings to keep everybody abreast of the status of the project and where we stand with our compliance efforts with our permit and current consent order. To that end, we have prepared this video to provide the public with a brief overview of the wastewater treatment plant process. We hope this video will allow you to better understand the needs of the wastewater division as we move through this process and complete the needed upgrades here at the wastewater treatment plant facility. Thank you very much. Have you ever wondered what happens to the water you use every day when it goes down the drain? The average household in the town of Uxbridge uses over 200 gallons of water every single day. Once this water goes down the drain, it becomes wastewater and must be treated and cleaned before being returned to the environment. If the house is connected to the town's collection system, wastewater flows through a series of underground pipes and pump stations to the main pump station at the Uxbridge Wastewater Treatment Facility. The pump stations lift the wastewater from the deep piping system to a higher elevation at the town's wastewater treatment facility. If your house is not connected to the town's collection system, the wastewater you use is treated by an, is treated by an on site septic system. Solitable solids sink to the bottom of the septic tank and must be periodically pumped out with a septic truck. The septage truck hauls the solids to the town wastewater treatment facility to be treated with the wastewater collected in the collection system. The wastewater treatment facility uses a combination of chemistry, biology, and physical processes to clean wastewater before it is discharged to the Blackstone River and rejoins the water cycle. At the facility, wastewater is separated into two streams, a solid stream that is collected and hauled off-site, and a liquid stream, which is treated and discharged to the Blackstone River. The facility uses five processes to treat liquid flow. The processes are preliminary treatment, primary treatment, secondary treatment, disinfection, and post-aeration. The United States Environmental Protection Agency and Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection jointly issue a permit to the facility which specifies the level of treatment the wastewater must go through before it is dis discharged to the river. The conditions of the permit are updated every five years. The permit allows the town to discharge treated wastewater to the Blackstone River. Septage from individual septic systems is emptied from the septage hauling trucks into a holding basin. A bar screen is used to separate large solids from the septage. Septage and wastewater are combined in the aerated grit chamber. The aerated grit chamber uses air to keep lighter organic solids suspended in the water and also allows heavy solids, called grit, to fall out of the wastewater. The purpose of this step is to physically remove large solids from the wastewater stream. The preliminary treatment system treats both wastewater from the collection system and septage. After the grit chamber, the wastewater goes through the comminuter, which shreds large solids into smaller pieces. The wastewater then enters preliminary treatment. Primary settling basins are used to allow small solids to either settle out of the wastewater or float to the top. Once the wastewater has gone through primary treatment, it enters the secondary treatment process which takes place in aeration basins. The aeration basins mi mimic nature and mix wastewater with air. The air is used by bacteria to grow and eat the organic solids in the wastewater. Wastewater enters the secondary clarifiers, which are designed to allow solids to separate and settle to the bottom of the clarifiers. In order to disinfect the wastewater and kill harmful pathogens, the wastewater is treated with chlorine in a chlorine contact chamber. To preserve the ecology of the Blackstone River, oxygen, which is needed to support life in the river, is added to the flow before it is discharged. The treatment facility uses a cascade aerator system, 
which mimics the natural process of a stream flowing over rocks to add air to the flow. Once the flow is re-aerated, it is discharged to Blackstone River through a series of diffusers in the bottom of the river. The solids process treats the solids collected from the primary settling basins and secondary clarifiers. The solids that settle out of both of these processes are called sludge and are collected in sludge holding tanks. The sludge is pumped to the gravity thickener. In this tank, the heavier solids separate from some of the water and sink to the bottom, thereby thickening the sludge. The thickened sludge is removed in a truck and hauled off-site. Solids removed from the liquid process are also hauled off-site. The entire wastewater process is monitored by the operators with electronic instruments and routine sampling to ensure that the water discharged from the wastewater treatment facility meets its discharge permit and is safe to return to the water cycle. The Uxbridge Wastewater Treatment Facility is a critical part of the town infrastructure taking raw sewage and septic tank waste and treating it to a very high level. The facility operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, through all holidays and all weather conditions to help protect the public health and local environments.